Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Football Manager our 2020 Let's Play. Um, we're struggling a little bit. We're back to struggling. We're up against Bournemouth today. Um, and we need a win. Bournemouth are favourites. Bournemouth are currently sitting in 10th place. As you can see, we've slipped down to 15th. Although teams have now played more games than us. Um, but uh, looking at this, we're, we're on a decline and that needs to change. And as you can see, we have uh, one against Everton, lost three on the bounce now. Uh, we obviously played the Man City game. We were very, very unlucky to concede to Newcastle in the 90th minute, I think it was. Uh, 93rd minute. Um, really unfortunate as it goes. And we had pretty much been the better team. Um, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes when you're not playing well. Uh, there it is, scored on the uh, from the corner with the knockdown. Really disappointing, really, really disappointing. Um, not a lot we could do about that. Now we're up against Bournemouth and we need a win. We are at home. Um, we also had uh, Calderon sent off again. Uh, so we're back to having to play Bastoni at the back, who is still struggling with fitness. He reckons a maximum of 45 minutes. I don't think we can afford to be that uh, be that generous. I think we're going to have to keep him out there for as long as we can. Um, Palmard is one booking away from a suspension. Uh, right back is very unhappy about our, our inability to strengthen the squad and is very, very down. Esposito hasn't scored in ages. Um, we need something. We need, uh, we need a win. We need a win against Bournemouth. Uh, Bellingham has dropped back into midfield. And then we've got Kubilla and... Uh, um, Rano Pellic in midfield. Let's um let's send them out. Um let's send the assistant to this because we're not interested about having an interview prior to the game. Um right boys, here we go. Need three point. We need to spread the gap between us and uh, us and relegation, otherwise we're in we're in serious danger of Continue, especially after we looked at our fixtures, continuing that downward trend. Esposito with the header. Bellingham is there. He's onside, I think. Get in, boys. Ten minutes gone. We're a goal up. I like it. I think if we're going to stay up, it's going to be these players. It's going to be Pellic, Esposito, Bellingham and Serrano are pretty much our, our first options. He was offside, just not at the not at that stage in play, I guess, is really what it boils down to. Um come on boys. It's very early, but we need another goal. Oh god. Pulled back muscle for Pelic. Here comes a free kick for them. Almeida causes all sorts of problems last time out. Well done, Pelic. Can you find a pass? No, no, you can't. Okay, I think we're gonna have to make a change and take Pelic off. I don't know who we're going to replace him with, mind. Attacking midfielder Mitev. What what makes us think that he's an attacking midfielder? I wonder. We should have a little look. I'm not sure. That you can play attacking midfielder. Too many goes. Esposito making the run. Too many still running with the ball. Can he find a pass? Serrano. Into the box. To the byline. Oh, get somebody. Anybody. Here they come. I want to just quickly go to this and have a look at you if I can. Um, attacking midfielder. So your passing is eight. Your vision is eight. How are you an attacking midfielder? Long shot seven. No, 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 no. No, just no. Okay. Um, Yes, you then, mate. Come on. It's a shame. I was just saying how he's going to be really important to us and now he's got to come off the pitch. Okay. Yeah, quite easily passing the ball around us at the moment. I guess the good news is they haven't really made much progress, but hello, ball in behind, Esposito's in. 
Esposito, we need you to score goals, mate. Another one-on-one -on -one goes begging. Okay, half an hour gone, we're one nil up. Only picks up a book, and we can't afford to have another another defender sent off. He's struggling as it is. There's Pelmard to Bastoni to Leverick to Bellingham. Loses the ball in midfield. Ball over the top. Dio goes in. Saved by Diaz. Should have done better. And we're at half time, okay. So we really should be taking off Bastoni. I don't want to do it. Send them back out there again. Okay. Come on, boys. Okay, we got to throw in another goal and I'll be taking Bastoni off, but we need it. Pinho to the halfway line, to the halfway line, to the byline. I feel like I probably should. I don't really want to, but I feel like I should. Okay, come on boys. If we end up going down, it's going to be our uh, the draws that caused it, not getting wins from positions where we could have won games. It's going to be that that causes us the problem. Well done, Mitev. Who'd have thought? Pelmard. Back to Pinho. Back to Pelmard. Back all the way to Diaz. Here's Lervik to Bellingham. Bellingham with the pace running forward shoots. Terrible, terrible effort. <laughs> I do quite like him in midfield though, making those runs. I don't know whether playing Bellingham out on the wing or out in midfield is the best choice for him. Or for us, to be honest. Okay. Um, They've gone 4 4 2. We've gone defensive. Oh, hello. Just realised what happened here. And this has been happening every time we go defensive. There's Kubilla. Three men round him. Crow, ball to Tuchemeni is on, there's Lervik, there's Tuchemeni, there's Bellingham again, back out to Crow, we're kind of just trying to run down the clock a little bit, if we lose the ball here though we've got problems, oh god, well done, Esposito finds Kubilla, referee, what is going on, every game is someone is being sent off, it's ridiculous. I don't know if we need this many people forward from the set piece. Which man is up? Over the bar. And here comes Kenlock. What is happening? Physio's coming on for Serrano. Okay, he looks like he's in pain. Oh, he's back up, he's back on his feet and he's heading off the pitch. Derby are beating Crystal Palace. Please blow the whistle, referee. This is exactly what we need. Please blow the whistle. Oh, 
God. Okay, come on. Ref, now's the time. Can Billa make a run? There goes Crow. Mine's too many, and there's the whistle. Get in. We absolutely dominated them. We we're a little unlucky to only score one. Hopefully the injury to Pellich isn't too bad. Um, let's tell them their efforts were excellent. And we're up in the 14th place still. Derby won, which is really disappointing um, against Palace. That's lit, sort of kept them within touching distance, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, injured for Pellic, out for nine days to two weeks. Uh, we're going to leave to the physio. Ooh. And the match press conference is about to begin. We're going to ignore that. And I think we're done for the day. Um, let's have a little look. I think what we said is we'll, I'll play the next game against Southampton, although that's seeming like a massive game right now. And then we're up against these guys. Do we play the Southampton game as well? I think we'll play Southampton off camera, then we'll play Man United, Liverpool in one episode, Chelsea, Norwich in another episode, and then Derby potentially in the next. Thank you so much for watching. This this spell is going to define our season. Um, so I may come back with the, the Southampton game, I'm not sure. Um, where are Huddersfield? I'm going to guess last, but they might not be. That might be real harsh. That is last, they're on 11 points. So maybe actually... The next three episodes are going to have two games in each because um, they're all big. And then Derby is just as big. But this is going to define where we finish. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.